Now moving on, scores of students have arrived at the lawns of the union buildings in Pretoria. Police say the permission to march had been denied as student leaders could not confirm who would be receiving their memorandum at the union buildings. They further warned that student leaders will be held responsible if any should go wrong. Motorists have been advised to either avoid the city centre or exercise extra caution when in the area. Okay, cool. So that people can hear us even in the other side of the street. I am not going to be able to do my job. I am not going to be able to do my job. I am not going to be able to do my job. I am not going to be able to do my job. When they are ready, they will tell us. That is our request. We are here today. We are angry today because they arrested our people. They arrested our people here. These are the people that have been shooting us here throughout the streets and throughout the country. Today they cannot come to the special events. Hey, so they must have to step us. Yes, comrades. We have a special message once again from the comrades from the university that is currently called Rhodes, and we appreciate comrades. All those messages of support from progressive unions. Uh, we have received messages of support from many progressive unions. However, we have a message for them. These so-called progressive unions and our parents and the so-called progressive people in the trade and everywhere else were are saying their solidarity must stop being spiritual. We want them to start supporting us practically. We are tired of Facebook posts. We are tired of I support this must fall back. Yes, yes, this but this but must fall. Yes, yes. I support this must fall back. This part must be cancelled. We are tired of that kind of a solidarity. Yeah. If young people from high school can take it upon themselves to join us, why are our parents still lacking behind? Yeah, Where are our parents when 500 of their children are in jail mm. and the police commissioners are out? Yeah. Yeah. Where are our parents when the government of this country calls a genuine call for free education and, and attempt by the so-called death force? Yeah. I think the death force against the student movement is the government itself. Yeah. I think the government itself it is the one that has a racist and a capitalist agenda against yes. these students. Mm -hmm. If there is anyone who is reactionary, if there is anyone who is paid by capitalists to destabilize this country, it is this government. Because it is this government that refuses people with free education. It is this government that the arrest of 500 students for demonstrating peaceful. It is this government that sent the police to shoot students for demonstrating peaceful. Therefore, the death for government of all 500 students now. We are not backing down on our demand for free education now. Yeah. We, are not we are not backing down on the demand for full insourcing of all workers in all universities and in all colleges. They can attempt to arrest us. They can attempt to shoot us and even attempt to kill us. But no one will kill an idea that its time yeah. has arrived. We are one generation. That is not willing to back down like generations before us. We are not willing to compromise like generations before us. We are not going to buy that empty rhetoric of reconciliation while we remain poor. The only reconciliation is when we are liberated from poverty. The only reconciliation is when all of us are liberated from the chains of poverty and debt. And that's the only time we are going to reconcile. Comrades, I've received a request from representatives of student organizations that are here to come and give messages of solidarity. From therein, we are going to get a representative from the government to come okay, and sorry. take...
the message that we are here. Well, we also have Kenny, who is on the phone line there, live on the ground. Kenny, thank you very much for joining us. Um, could you please tell us what is the mood like there? I mean, it's understood that they don't have permission to be marching, but yet they decided to march anyway. Hi, the police decided to allow the students to march in a peaceful manner to union buildings, and the students have made them here, their way here. Currently, Busi Masangu, the student activist from TUT, is addressing them. Remember, there was a bit of controversy surrounding him last year as he claimed he was abducted during the Feed Must Fall campaign. Uh, the students right now are just discussing their demands. The main demand right now was that they stop arresting student activists. It's either they release their student activists, they've, they've named some of them, like Mkwebo Zamini, the most famous out of them all. Otherwise, they should arrest them all. But what is interesting with Mkwebo being mentioned into this um, uh, address right now is that none of the VIS university students or leaders who burst this movement seem to be present right now. The numbers are extremely different to what we saw last year. And now having the uh, students come there to the union buildings, who exactly are they trying to uh, hand over the memorandum to And uh, at this point? Because the reason why they were refused is that there was no clarity as to whom they're marching to. There still is no clarity as to who they're marching to. I mean, what we've been told is that the students are going to be marching to union buildings and they're going to hand the memorandum, memorandum over there. Uh, there's a strong police presence there. So I'm assuming that the police are going to take the memorandum for them and bring it back up the stairs to union buildings. And the students should be leaving at 1 p.m. Or my understanding is that the police might have to disperse them because, as you know, this is not a legal protest. Now, you mentioned the student that was, uh, or who had rather claimed to be kidnapped last year. Any follow-ups on that? Um, there haven't been much follow-ups on that, but he is a TET student and he's well-known among the students here. And as I've told you, that most of the students that have showed up today are students that are from TET. They have quite a strong presence right now. But there was a lot of controversy surrounding him. And there was a couple of jokes as well that he was trying to resemble one of the Maracana miners by wearing this blanket over his shoulders. And now having the students there, is it a, quite a large number of support or is it quite a reasonable number as, you know, we all do know that when it gets uh, quite packed, it does rather turn violent at times? I, I wouldn't even say that this is a considerable amount. I mean, you can see that there are students that are missing, but it has been said that TET um, doesn't work well with its SRC and that they don't really have a social media presence. So I'm, I'm hoping that is the reason why students haven't really shown up for this march. However, it's not the kind of numbers that we saw last year at the union building. And now they were saying that they don't want, they appreciate the support from uh, parents and institutions and unions, etc. But they were saying that they want them to come there and be there physically and stop uh, supporting them spiritually. Are we seeing any supporters other than the students? Um, other than the students, we did see some high school students that uh, saw them along the way and started running with them. But when it comes to parents and uh, lecturers and institutions and religious leaders, the only time we really see religious leaders around is when you see Vits University and the likes of Riani Pambo and Shaira Kala marching. Then you will see your religious leaders and your daddy and pop who's walking forward with it and supporting the students. However, I do think that they are at a disadvantage because... They are the TEP students and the UP students, that the students that nobody really pays attention to in the fees must fall. So they are, do have that downfall, unfortunately. Well, thank you very much. That was Kenny Mapanga uh, there at Church Square.